it's more extreme apparently so you look at afghanistan falling to shit and you go those poor women what's going to happen to them and to have had not 20 years but to have had 15 years of the opportunity to be educated and stuff like that it is it's a tragedy but i was speaking to someone the other day and i said the fact that the taliban are brutal and disgusting with their uh, behavior doesn't mean we're not doing it in our own countries so this oppression is everywhere i look i was talking to malia earlier and pointing out this book the moment of lift by melinda gates i was just saying to her so it says in here a number of stories but it goes 75 percent of the world's farmers are women but there are also mothers and homemakers and all the work is piled onto them so they can't learn how to farm better so malia from your perspective which of the platforms is worst nowadays i'm facing i'm not facing actually i'm i saw some posts in twitter uh, those are very i can't say what kind of posts these are they, those are very much odd and you know what type of things going on in twitter and i think that's a platform is the oldest platform i have ever seen but because i i never see this type of videos in facebook in linkedin definitely not mm -hmm. not in linkedin uh, then uh, in, in instagram also they they massage odd things but the, there i never saw this type of videos in uh, publicly showing okay and but Twitter is the worst thing I think uh, nowadays, and I just trying to block many people on there. So I I don't use Twitter because it is very binary. People are like hey, or uh, and everything seems to be. So I don't want to make you s say what the type of videos there are. Gregory, do you know what Twitter is like? Because I don't. I, I don't spend a lot of time on Twitter and I've got kind of a small following there and I'm, I'm pretty uh, specific about who I would follow. So I haven't seen anything. It wouldn't surprise me that there's things that are, you know, purely inappropriate there because it, yes. it is a free for all, you know, it's like there's, there's freedom of speech. Um, but there's, doesn't mean you, you know, have to act like a complete inappropriate, just jerk, you know? So, Malia, do you actually, are you on Twitter because there are people that um, want digital marketing the way, you, the way you offer it? Yes. No, I am uh, on social media, I told you before, because I'm doing digital marketing and I need followers mm. for my work. Um, mm. When I work for any other company, that time I have to share their uh, posts in my profile also. Then from there, I also i can also get followers so that's why i have to grow my own account also i have need i need followers for my own so that's why i am also over there because i i am managing a 304 company page over there also from canada and uk so for that reason i have very various kinds of people and various kinds of people for our, my followers also over there and uh, sometimes from any others if any uh, other people like any other post, some odd, uh, odd post, then that will be in my timeline also in Twitter and also in LinkedIn. Right. But in Twitter, the difficulty is uh, when they like any post that will spread much more uh, than LinkedIn also. Like LinkedIn, but I think there is much, much open place. Twitter is very faster, uh, pub, huh, faster than mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Yes. Yeah, that's why that's and true. i'm just saying those things uh, like uh what just uh the uh, veloshini said this sometime before that kind of stuff uh videos and other things uh i saw in twitter um it's kind of porn i think 
So mm. I don't man I don't want to mention no, those no, words of actually. Course, absolutely. So I saw those things, and uh, that then uh, one 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 uh, one man there. He just texted me, "Wow, you have very nice eyes." And they he texted me in a message, but right after that, he just uh, take a screenshot that he say something or odd sentence to me and then he took some uh, screenshot what he said to me and that he posted in tw twitter twitter post publicly and that was so embarrassing for me mm. and i just blocked him over there and i was i was feeling that uh, i have to close this <laughs> account because he just posted my name and my uh, my account my that uh, then the message what he sent to me and it feels very uncomfortable for me. I, and uh, there are my buyers, there are my relatives, my students, and they will see it because he tagged me over there, right? That's it's really disgusting. odd behavior. I don't even understand. That's not even what odd. What his motivation is? What do you think you're going to accomplish with it's that? It's not even odd. Than getting blocked. It's no, it's not even odd. It's and you can see I am like this. Okay, uh, sometimes I put my my uh, uh, niqab on, and there is also my photo is like on my niqab, but still he is commenting like this type of thing. Uh, this type of thing uh, uh, that is not expectable at all. No, mm. no, I you know uh, that kind of individual. Um, so. When we finish here today, join our group on Facebook and on um I, I am always, I'm oh, already okay. in your group. So if 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 anyone anyone does that from this day forward, post them in the group and we'll start because like we won't post it up on our videos, but we'll definitely go after them personally. Because Okay, okay, that, that's the very good thing. Yeah, it's totally unacceptable for the person to be sexual in the first place and then destructive because he doesn't get his way. Fuck that. Excuse my French. Um, how many followers do you have? So, Volushni, you've got 30. Have you got Have you got up from 30,000 followers? I don't have. I don't have much. Um, I have another account. On that account, I have uh, 6,500 something followers, but uh, because of too much view of my profile and uh, too much traffic generate, LinkedIn just uh, blocked my that account uh, so that I have to <laughs> again open another account, another new account. And right now I have only seven, uh, 1,700 plus followers. Okay. And I am growing again, trying to my best. Sure. Uh, that's all. So I'm sorry. Why did they block you? Uh, they blocked me because I have the 1,100 and something page from the top person, and also from other company pages. And because uh, from my account, using my account, I am uh, I am a, uh, I am doing something traffic generate lots of traffic uh, coming mm. through my account. They are saying like this thing. And that's why they are thinking I am using any tool or like, oh, like that. Thinking like you're mm. like some type of bot generator. Yeah, know, yeah. But I, I was not yeah. doing any bot, any tool. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything. But they're, so they're supposed to think I am doing. And, and, and so here, here is the problem, in my opinion. So, so they have these tools, right? They have probably an algorithm that determines, okay, this person is abusing our platform because they're trying to overmarket or spam or whatever it is that they're trying to do. But they're doing very little, in my opinion, that I can see to nothing to people who are being completely disgusting and inappropriate. You know, it's not like there's a, a thumbs up or a, a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down right next to your profile on LinkedIn where people can like you or dislike you and say, hey, this is or maybe it's based on your comments or your, you know, your behavior and so forth. So that's kind of why we, we you know, created this, because we need to create change in the platforms themselves.